Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of videos, we are going to utilize AI, artificial intelligence to make and analyze our existing videos. For every session of CSI and Life Science, I already make videos on the most important topics for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination. And if you are wondering what are the most important topic from individual units for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination, then this video is going to help you. But this is a disclaimer that this video is made with AI because it I already made four or five different videos on individual units. From all the other units, I compiled them with the help of the AI and AI analyzed all of my videos and my strategies and it put together as a summary for all of you. Under seven, eight minutes, you're going to get a crisp and to the point summary of the preparation of any individual topics of CS and Net Life Science Unit, be it Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. For all the 13 units, you will get this video series both in English as well as in Hindi. So just don't leave the video because it's made with AI. AI can do wonders. Don't think that a teacher, if he's using AI, that means a teacher is not doing its job. Teacher is obviously doing its job, but it's compiling them with the help of the AI to take it to the next level. And I bet that after going through this video, if you watch one of this video, you'll be hooked and you'll continue the series and that is out there. Now, why I'm making this with the AI? Because I've already made it multiple times manually and it does not make sense making the same video every single time. So I tried something new this time with the help of the AI watch i believe you are going to like it if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike mention why you dislike and if you like to get more content like this also mention that in the comment section hey everyone and welcome so if you're gearing up for the csir net life sciences exam you already know that unit 2 cellular organization is an absolute beast but what if i told you there's a way to conquer it using a proven data-driven strategy well, in this explainer, we're going to do just that. Turn that feeling of overwhelm into a crystal clear action plan. So here's our game plan. First, we're gonna tackle the challenge of unit two head on. Then I'm gonna let you in on the data-driven secret to studying smart. After that, we'll dive deep into your non-negotiable must know topics, and then the ones that are moderately important. And to wrap it all up, we'll build your personal study blueprint so you can walk away ready to go. All right, let's just get right into it. Unit two is massive, right? And a really common trap is trying to master every single little topic. Our goal here isn't to study harder, it's to study smarter. We're gonna focus our energy where it's actually gonna get us the highest results. Does this look familiar? You open up the syllabus, you see that long list of topics, and you just feel your confidence start to sink. Trust me, it's a feeling almost every aspirant has, but it really doesn't have to be your reality. Okay, so here's the absolute truth of it. The CSIR exam does not treat all topics equally. Some concepts, you'll see them pop up again and again, year after year. Others, they barely make an appearance. Understanding this difference is the real key to unlocking your whole preparation strategy. So how in the world do we know which topics to actually focus on? Well, it's not guesswork. We're gonna use a data-driven secret, a method that's based on a really deep analysis of what the exam is really asking you. And look, this isn't just some theory. This whole strategy is built on a careful analysis of the last 10 CSIR net question papers. And we're specifically focusing on the post COVID exam trends. So this isn't about old patterns. It's about what is relevant right now today. We're calling this the prioritization strategy. It's a really simple, but incredibly powerful idea. We're gonna classify every single topic in unit two into one of three tiers all based on how often questions have shown up from that area in the most recent exams. And we're making it super simple to follow. We're using a color code. Green is for the most important topics. These are your absolute non-negotiables. Blue is for moderately important. These are perfect for giving you that competitive edge. And red, that's for the least important topics, the stuff you can safely spend less time on, or even skip to save that precious time. Okay, let's put this strategy into action, starting with the green zone. These are the two topics that consistently, and I mean consistently, dominate Unit 2. If your time is limited, this is where you need to live and breathe. And here they are. 
Your two non-negotiables are topic A, membrane structure and function, and topic D, cell division and cell cycle. Think of these as the two main pillars holding up the entire unit. So let's break down topic A. For membrane structure, the exam always gets into the nitty gritty. You have to go deep on the lipid bilayer, ion channels, active transport mechanisms like those membrane pumps, how proteins are sorted inside the cell, and even the electrical properties of membranes. Don't just skim these. Every single one of these is a high yield area. You know, just to put its importance into perspective, some analyses even suggest that the cell membrane is so critical, you could almost pass this unit by focusing on it alone. And on the flip side, if you skip it, it's nearly impossible to succeed, no matter how well you know everything else. Now, for your second green zone topic, the cell cycle. The examiners absolutely love asking about the phases of mitosis and meiosis, but they have a special emphasis on mitosis. You have got to master the steps, those critical regulatory checkpoints like G1 slash S and G2 slash M, and of course, the key molecular players, the cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases that run the whole show. This area is just pure high-frequency gold. Okay, so once you've really solidified your foundation in that green zone, it's time to build your competitive edge. So let's move into the blue zone. These are the moderately important topics. Now here in the blue zone, we've got topic B, which is all about the structure and function of intracellular organelles, and topic C, the organization of genes and chromosomes. These topics show up often enough that if you master them, you can really give your score a significant boost. And you know, within topic C, the data shows a really clear pattern. Questions tend to circle around chromatin structure, specifically the functional differences between that tightly packed, silent heterochromatin and the active euchromatin. You should also expect questions on things like transposons, those key epigenetic changes like DNA methylation, the whole concept of gene families, and chromatin remodeling. Focusing here is just a very, very smart move. So we've covered the green zone and the blue zone. Now let's pull it all together into a clear, actionable blueprint that you can start using like today. This is where all that strategy turns into real action. You know, a huge part of any good strategy is knowing what not to do. And based on our analysis of the last 10 papers, microbial physiology, which is topic E, is the area you can safely deprioritize or maybe even skip altogether. Questions from this topic are just really rare, and your time is so much better spent in the green and blue zones. And there it is. This table lays out the entire strategy in one simple view. This is your cheat sheet for Unit 2. Topics A and D are high priority. That's your green zone. B and C are medium priority, your blue zone. And E is low priority, your red zone. Seriously, take a screenshot of this, write it down. This is your roadmap to success. So there you have it a data-backed blueprint to conquer one of the toughest units in the CSIRNet exam. The question is no longer what to study. The real question is how are you going to apply this focus to optimize your preparation from this point forward? Thanks for watching. So I believe you got an overall detailed idea about how do you prepare this particular unit for the CSIRNet, upcoming CSIRNet Life Science Examination Preparation. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, colleagues and subscribe to this channel. And also mention what necessary adjustment that we need to do to make more of this kind of videos. Should you make them? Should you not make them? And also, uh, if you wish to join Shomu's Biology, because this video is actually made from four of my YouTube videos. I feed four of my existing YouTube videos and AI gave this output. So it is basically my own content. It is churned content of mine. So if you wish to get this content, if you want to get trained by me, get coached by me for CSI Net Life Science Examination Preparation, then join our online coaching. The admission is going on. Contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our Shomus Biology application from Google Play Store. You'll find all the course details in there. You can also buy our study material package five books 3900 rupees five books plus 64 gb recorded lecture content 8900 rupees always from our website or directly from us by contacting 9804654228 number in whatsapp so mention your uh, you know say in the comment section so that i get to know whether you liked it or not see you there in the next video thank you bye